Every year, thousands of tourists flock to the Okanagan Valley. They come here for the warm weather, beautiful beaches, wineries, breweries, and other attractions. And while they're here, those tourists, and even some locals, take photos. A lot of photos. Some of them are pretty good. Some of them might even be okay. But with a little local knowledge, visitors to the Okanagan and locals can take better photos of Okanagan landmarks. The kind of photos that you'll put on your Instagram feed and be amazed by the likes and comments you get. I'm here to bring you that local knowledge, one Okanagan landmark at a time. Today we're going to photograph one of the Okanagan's most recognizable landmarks, the SS Sycamus. I'm going to offer you some tips so you can take better photos of this great ship. The SS Sycamus is a sternwheeler anchored permanently in Penticton. It worked in Okanagan Lake from 1914 to 1936, moving people and cargo up and down the lake on a daily schedule. It served faithfully until the arrival of the Kettle Valley Railway and the expansion of highways rendered it obsolete. After sitting unused for several years and being stripped of parts, it was eventually moved to its permanent home here on the shores of Okanagan Lake in Penticton. Since then, it has been a museum, a tourist attraction, a venue for weddings and craft fairs, and the home to a huge model railway layout. If you're interested in learning more, the SS Sycamus Society has a great website with history, vintage photos, and more. But what we're interested in today is capturing the sycamus in a photo. Most tourists take the easy approach. They lie on the beach like this and take photos of the sycamus from here. Oh sure, some of them are ambitious enough to get up early in the morning to catch the early rays of sun on the ship. But most just decide to lie here and take a shot with their phone. Who can blame them? She's a beautiful old ship. Looking at her, you can imagine the romance of cruising up and down Okanagan Lake, watching the unspoiled shoreline fall away, then pulling in at the dock in Naramata to be greeted by the cheering, excited crowds. But there's much more to shooting the sycamus than lying on the beach and taking a shot with your phone. There are a number of good vantage points to choose. Let's check out a few. There's here, at the front of the ship, nice and low, looking up. Or there's here, in the middle, taking a shot from one of the park benches near the ship. Or there's the back of the ship, near the stern wheel. Fun fact, it says on the stern wheel, Victoria, BC. But that's just where the ship was registered. It only worked in Okanagan Lake, and never saw Victoria. But here's something a lot of tourists, and even a lot of locals, don't know. There's a better place to take a picture of the Sycamus. We're going to have to get aerial for a moment to show you that place. Since we don't yet have the budget to buy a drone, let's have a look at Google Maps. As you can see, the Sycamus sits on an angle on the beach, jetting out into the lake. But as we get higher, you can see that there is a causeway or breakwater that runs from behind the Sycamus and out into the lake. That causeway is the single best place to take a picture of the Sycamus. Let's head there now. So here we are out on the causeway. And there's the sycamus. There's only one problem. This isn't that interesting. So why did I say that this is the best place to take a picture of the sycamus? Well, I wasn't wrong to say that, but what I didn't tell you is there's a better time to take a picture of the sycamus as well. And that time is, is at night. Yes, during the day, the Sycamus is an impressive ship and a genuine Okanagan landmark. But at night, at night, she comes alive with lights and glorious reflections on the lake. She goes from being an interesting subject to being a gorgeous subject. So this is when we're going to set up our shot. And this is where we're going to set up our shot.
Any time of year is a good time to take a picture of the sycamores after dark. But in the winter, the winter is the best time because let's face it, you can come out here at about 5 p.m., take your shot in the dark, and be home in time to watch reruns of Murder, She Wrote on TV. I don't believe in coincidences, especially when they involve murder or attempted murder. If that's what floats your boat. The other good thing about photographing the sycamus at this time of year is that the sycamus not only has her regular lights along her decks, but because it's winter, she has Christmas lights and little Christmas trees on the decks as well. So that adds extra interest to the photos. Today for our photo, we're gonna set up for a longer exposure because we want to gather as much of the light coming off the sycamus as possible. And because it's quite dark out, it might not look like it on this camera because it's exposing to add light, but it is quite dark out. We're going to use a fairly small aperture as well. And the reason for that is we want to create starbursts with the lights. I know that sometimes starbursts can be a little overused and can seem gimmicky, but in this case, I think they're going to really add something to this picture of the sycamus. They'll make her look magical sitting in the dark. We're going to be using a pretty shallow depth of field for this shot because we don't really need a deep depth of field. All we're really interested in is focusing on the sycamus. Yes, there are reflections on the lake below, but they don't really need to be sharp. They just need to be reflecty. I think those turned out really well. So that's one of the best ways to take a picture of the SS Sycamus. Forget the beach, forget the bright sunlight. Come out here after dark, walk down the causeway, and get a great shot of the Sycamus after dark. I hope you take the opportunity to come down here and take a picture of the Sycamus as well. I'm gonna post my photo on Instagram. Why don't you take a photo of the Sycamus as well, post it on Instagram, and tag it with the hashtag SSSycamus so we can share our photos and see how each of us does. That's all for me today. Good luck with your photography, and I hope you'll join me in my next video.